Waterhouse Coopers, one of the big four professional services firm in the globe, took a significant step in its drive for creating value in the Nigerian economy with the establishment of its Innovation Experience Center in Lagos. It brought together stakeholders in the banking sector and technology industry. In his opening remarks, the regional senior partner, PwC West Africa, outlined the objective of launching the Innovation Experience Center. This center will drive our thinking and provide us a platform to support our clients, working with them to co-create solutions that meet today and future business challenges. The center will also allow us to experiment from prototypes, simulate scenarios, see how it's going to work, test it, and see that they meet the needs of our clients and the market. It is pertinent to know that one of our firm's values is to reimagine the possible. And this speaks to daring to challenge the status quo, trying new things, innovating, testing, learning. That, in a nutshell, is what this PwC Experience Center does. The chairman of the event, Mr. Jim Ovia, who is also the chairman of Zenith Bank PLC, commended PwC for the initiative, asserting that Nigeria has a lot to benefit from innovation and technology as an economy. The industry availability to penetrate through digital economy and deployment of the high-tech tools is 2.7 trillion US dollars. So it's huge. You can't ignore that. So that's why you are beginning to see a lot of fintech company. You've been wondering, not just in Nigeria, all over the world. That is the reason. Before now, how had those services been offered? Offline. They've been offered. They are still offered offline today. The services are there, but offline slow. So the fintech experts, the millennials, they know it exists. They don't need the brick and mortar walls to achieve those services, to deploy those services of payment system particularly. Two point something trillion, that is where the gold mine is. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to specially congratulate PwC team all of them that have worked towards this project, and I feel very, very honored for the opportunity to come here to um, participate in this and share this occasion. And I want to thank you so much, and I wish you happy deliberation, happy commissioning, and enjoy the space ride. Thank you so much. In his remarks, the governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Sonwolu, described PwC Innovation Experience Center as a project that reflects the smart technology strategies of the state. PwC Amosi has joined the elite class of forward-thinking companies that are now leveraging on technology advancement to provide inclusive growth, more job opportunities, and emergence of an informal enterprise out of the shadow of the economy. Innovation and creativity are the main themes that underscore today's laudable event. It is also serves as a reminder to us that the quest for knowledge and progress with the use of technology should no longer be limited to the private sector. It is imperative, therefore, that the public sector urgently commit itself to leveraging on our brilliant and very bright creative ideas and minds that we have here to enhancing the data and digital intelligence to advance our standards of living and the well-being of all of us, Egyptians and Nigerians in general. Our administration will therefore be intentionally in the very near future, see how we enter into this digital age. Otherwise, it risks being left behind. The state will in invest in a significant amount of resources in the acquisition of state-of-the-art technologically driven solutions to ensure that our public sector workers are better positioned and empowered to adapt to the demands of the 21st century economy. The Vice President of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, SAN, who was represented by the Director General of the Federal Budget Office, Mr. Ben Akabweze, believed the PwC hub will support the federal government's plan to boost technology adoption in Nigeria. As a global leader in business facilitation, PwC's choice of Lagos for the Experience Center is an expression of 
faith in the Nigerian economy. I hope that more global institutions will take a cue from this and increase investment in various sectors of our economy as there is no better time than now. This initiative by PwC is in tandem with the present federal government of Nigeria's resolve to improve the business environment and harness the power of technology to drive Nigeria's socioeconomic growth, as well as to become a leading exporter of innovations. It is my hope that the PwC Experience Center will provide an ecosystem of talent, solutions, and best practices to serve their growing clientele in Nigeria, and indeed the Nigerian economy at large. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is now my honor and privilege to formally declare open the PwC Experience Center Lagos to the glory of God and for the advancement of our beloved nation as well as all who reside and do business here. Thank you very much and may God bless Nigeria. Commission this special experience center of PwC and to declare it open to the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Governor Babajide Sonwolu gave his assessment of the hub and how the state government will encourage innovation hubs like the PwC Experience Center. It's incredible the, the, the experience that we've seen here that prize, prize order housekeepers have done. It's part of um, a global, um, global reach about how technology is going to and what we all need to begin to think through. This is the future. Right, the future is in itself, it's today. Right, so for us as Lagos State, um, as a public sector, um, um, government driven, right, it's, it's it really for us to begin to see how we can take, take advantage of opportunities like this. How can people help us create solutions, help us create um, um, innovative ideas that we can use to solve public problems? You know, uh, it could be in transportation, it could be in waste management, it could be in education, right? The whole idea is that people can come into centers like this and just think, you know, and think of what are the possible problems, right, that we encounter today. How do we solve them 5, 10, 15 years down the line? You know, and so it's all creative thinking, and it's only technology, in our view, that we can use to do what we call catch up. We can, if we get it well, we can actually do a leapfrog with the developed world. Right, they're all talking about robotics, they're all talking about in, in, um, artificial intelligence, you know, virtual realities and all of it. And these are some of the things that is happening already. Right, so as government, as private sector people, you know, as businesses, we need to begin to think through that. How will my business reflect in another five, ten years from today? How will government, you know, be, be, remain accountable? How will government be run in another ten years, you know, from today? You know, and, and it's from now you need to begin to think through those kind of processes and that's the kind of experience we've held here today. You know, and um, we can only but marvel, uh, we can only but take it back and go and tell our people too that um, we need to um, truly really think out of the box, you know, and truly know that right governance is not all about you knowing it, you know, but you opening up the opportunities for other people to to experiment with you. You know, and, and it's only by doing that that we can um, remain competitive, we can um, own the future, you know, that, that we dream about. You know, and it's also a future for the youth. You know, this whole experience here um, speaks to um, the youthful age, you know, and, um, that, and that's what our government too certainly will be about. And so we'll be speaking to PwC to see how they help us in some of those journeys going forward. Mr. Uyi Akpata and the partner and experience center leader for PwC Nigeria, Mr. Femi Oshinubi, gave further insight into the strategy and scope of the hub. For me, ultimately, it's about getting our clients and our people to come and have that experience driven by technology um, and the current disruptions. But um, as you can see, what we said earlier, there are eight specific solutions dealing from um, robotics, artificial intelligence, um, blockchain, data analytics, uh, virtual reality, um, all those are here. But what's happening here, what's really exciting is that within the next month or two, we have about 60 young tech stroke business analysts working out of this um, center 
and linking up with the 29 other centers we have within the PwC network and bringing the experience to ourselves and our clients as it were. So um, this is just the beginning. We're going to be getting clients, our uh, people, whether in private or public sector, to come here and actually take into consideration real life experiences in terms of potential disruptions. One of the things that was particularly fascinating for me is one of our virtual reality tools where you have a case where within an hour or so you had industry experts coming up with potentially almost 200 disruptors for a client. So at the end of the day, what's your competition today for a financial service? It's not maybe the banks. It may just be one tech hub company or what, what it is. So it's all that, those are really exciting things for me. Um, but uh, the governor of the state was here recently and it just was an anchor and of course the representative of His Excellency, the Vice President. i particularly keen to see how we can provide solutions to help when it comes to public service, delivering public service, particularly as each of those are going to affect or contribute to addressing the sustainable development goals. So it's just direct impact on our people. That's one of the five things PwC stands for, really creating and making difference in society. It's, a, it's an area as well where we co-create. So we have something we call the Coliseum. Coliseum is actually an area like an amphitheater where we bring our clients and actually co-create with them. Think about the future and how they can disrupt their businesses and other businesses as well. And within that Coliseum, we have the what we call Top and Chill, where it's like a cafe. So you don't need to leave the Coliseum. Everything is in there for you. And there's a PlayStation as well. We have a playroom where you can work and play. Um, at the main center where we have our specialists, our AI specialists, the disruption people, the blockchain people, is a flexible working space. You have a lot of couches on the floor. You can actually walk from the wall. We have sittings on the wall. We have all our screens, our interactive screens, where we can showcase. So as you engage, collaborate, as you write on the screen, everything is saved on the server, on, in the cloud automatically, and you can pick up all your discussions later on. Within that space as well, we have what we call the nap room, uh, where you can just go and take an hour sleep or two hours sleep, about six beds in there. Um, we have our demo lab. It's, um, it's called um, the Shuttle Discovery, where every single client, every single customer can walk into the center. Just imagine Apple Store. We have a several tablets, both in Surface and Apple iPads, where most of our solutions that will be developing in PwC or we have developed are actually they're very interactive. You don't even talk to anyone. You can go and play around with those solutions. And if you want some of those solutions, we can actually work with you. And we can create solutions, co-create solutions with you off the shelf. Or you know, so you don't just think about a problem. Through our disruption session, we can help you think about what you need to do next. And we actually invest um, in, you know, in, that, in, in actually you know, coming up with those solutions. One of the things that was very attractive to people is that, and very surprising to people today is that we have the virtual reality um, center, where a lot of solutions that is relevant to private sector, like cybersecurity solutions, and things that are training, deploying training for executives and non-executives through virtual reality. So that means that you can actually sit in your office rather than traveling to a classroom and actually have a training session, two, three hour session, and you feel that you're in that classroom without necessarily leaving your office. And you complete a fantastic training program. And you have a feel of people around you. So people will be seated around you. You have the facilitator actually you know, delivering the session and you have that experience. Um, we have. You know, the governor was here earlier, we actually showed the city of the future, where as the mayor or governor of a state, you can actually project how can your city be disrupted and plan, use that plan, virtuality experience, to plan for, for the future of Lagos and any other states. Um, I think in summary, that's what um, we're going to be working with a lot of young entrepreneurs in Nigeria as well, where we co-create with them. We, we know that a lot of people are doing exciting things uh, in the area of emerging technology. This is a place that we're going to be you know, exposing some of those SMEs uh, in, in technology, in Imagine Tech, to big players that we are opportunity to work with. And so it's, it's a center that is open and, and we are ready for business. With the advent of the fourth industrial revolution, the PwC Experience Center provides immense opportunities for driving a digital-led solutions and businesses that create jobs and contributes to Nigeria's economic growth.